Yo book nerds, with a sad heart I tell you that I am going to be ending my channel. April Fools! Just kidding. I have no plans to end my channel anytime soon, so you don't have to worry about that. This video is going up on April 1st, so I thought, what goes well with April Fool's Day? Hmm? Comedy is what I thought. April Fool's Day is all about pranks. It's all about getting people for a laugh. So I thought comedy goes well with that. So I'm going to give you a couple book recommendations if you're looking for something to make you laugh. <laughs> I will be the first to admit that I do not read a lot of comedy. I've read some, and I will admit that the stuff that I read is more satirical and not, like, outright funny. So my taste may not be your taste because comedy is so subjective. So these may or may not work for you, and that's fine. But I can only recommend books that I've read, right? So... These are just some things that I pulled off of my shelves. This is not a top five list at all. I do have five books, but it's not a top five. But maybe this will give you an idea of something just to make you laugh today. If you do any pranks, please be respectful still too. Don't go too far. There is a line. Don't cross it. <laughs> that is my public service announcement for today. Anyway... Let's get into the books. We've got Peanuts. Like, how can you go wrong with Snoopy and the gang? For real. You could read any comic strip, but these are the only ones that I have on my shelves. So you've got Snoopy by Charles M. Schultz. And then We're Right Behind You, Charlie Brown, also by Charles M. Schultz. These always make me smile. They're super cute. They're light. They're fun. They're easy. You could easily read these in a day. Moving up from there, it might take you a little longer to read these other ones, but hey, comedy isn't just limited to one day. If you like slapstick comedy, I'm gonna recommend Three Men in a Boat and Three Men on the Bummel by Jerome K. Jerome. I do have a review for this book on my channel. This book is hysterical. It is ridiculous. It reminds me of The Three Stooges, like, these three friends just decide to take a trip and they have no idea what they're doing. And it's hilarious. Since I do have a review for it, I will direct you over to that for more information. But definitely recommend this for slapstick comedy lovers. If you're someone who likes farce, just plain up ridiculous hilarity, I guess. I don't I don't really know how else to classify it. But if you like just ridiculous goofy comedy, I am going to recommend The Princess Bride by William Goldman. I read this for the first time last year, but I've seen the movie a million times, and the book is just as hilarious as the movie, and I highly recommend you to read it. I was laughing out loud so many times, literally, while I read it, and I have a review for this one as well, so I will direct you over there for more on that. But it is just ridiculous and so light and fun. So this is a framed story. So even the parts that aren't like Buttercup and Wesley, like when you're not like in in the story and you're kind of pulled back out a little bit. Oh my gosh, there's so many layers to this comedy. And like seriously, go watch my review because I kind of dive into it a little bit more there. More so than I have time for in this video. But oh my gosh, Goldman just would take a joke and run a million miles with it. Like, it is plain, absurd, hilarious comedy. And then my last recommendation for you, if you've read Hamlet or seen the play, then I recommend you read or watch Rosencrantz and Guildenstern Are Dead, which is a play by Tom Stoppard. Tom Stoppard is my favorite playwright. This play is absurdist. It makes no sense. Like, there is no reality. Everything is just wild, crazy bonkers. Like, it is so funny. But you kind of do need to have read Hamlet beforehand to get all of what is going on. But 
I love this place so much. I've read it twice. I have seen parts of the movie adaptation, but I've never watched it all the way through. I would really love to watch it all the way through, and I really want to see this performed. I would love to see this performed. But basically, this play follows Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, who are characters in Hamlet, and it follows them like when they're not on stage in Hamlet. It's like they're in limbo when they're not on stage in Hamlet, and it's so crazy goofy bonkers. Like, I love it. It is so funny. So there you go. I know that these are not very many recommendations for you, but like I said, I don't read a ton of comedy and my comedic tastes I feel are very specific. So these, this is the best I can do for you today on April Fool's Day. So if you're looking for something entertaining, check one of these out. I would love to hear in the comments any pranks you pulled today, and I would love to hear any book recommendations that you have that are humorous, that are funny, comedic, whatever tickles your fancy. I would love to hear about it. That's all for me today. I hope that you have a lovely April Fool's Day. I hope that you prank people and that nobody can prank you. I hope that they can't pull one over on you today. <laughs> and I hope you are able to pull one over on a few people. <laughs> Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for talking books with me.